And I picked her up real gently and then she just melted. And so I melted. We were driving to breakfast and I could see her on the side of the road. We drove her into our vet. By the time we got there, it was like, oh, we don't think this cat's doing too well. You could tell she had gotten hit on one side of her body. She's purring and purring, and as we're holding her, we're falling in love with her. They said she has a head injury, but it looks like she's gonna live. Take her home. Roadside's part of the family now. So cute, Rogi. That first day, she just needed to rest. But then she got more skittish. I'd go in there and Tegan would go in there and we'd just sit with her. The hissing calmed down after a bit. I spent a lot of time, it was a slow process. It's okay. I got to the point where I could pick her up. She loves her room. There's a dog gate so she can go in and out of it whenever she wants. She feels safest in there. We have golden retrievers. She sees the dogs and she'll look like, what is that out there? And then she started coming out into the house. Oh, there she goes. She acclimated to the dogs. She's kind of went from being scared of everything to becoming the queen of the roost. She literally has a bedtime routine. She'll yell at my mom to put her to bed. No, it's not even six o'clock. It's not even dark outside, okay? You're gonna go night night. It's early. You're gonna be in your room a long time. She wants the door shut and we shut the door and she goes in there and she plays all night with her toys. Are you ready to night night? Are you ready to night-night? Night-night. I wake up in the morning, I let her out. 